Costa Rica in, in India. And one of the things that Costa Rica is really betting on since many years, but since we uh, published uh, or, or approved a, a field attraction law well, in late 2021, is the film industry. We have a country that has been very successful in attracting uh, film producers from North America, from Latin America, from Europe, but not that much from India. And of course, when I took office in India in 2021, uh, in preparation to our post, we speak with different uh, national authorities and counterparts, and the Film Commission and I uh, agreed that the film industry should be one of our priorities. And it's been three years since I came now. Uh, I had spoken to Mohan since since a few, maybe last year, that Tollywood was something that we really wanted to to be able to to do an introduction to, to start knowing each other. Uh, because I have to be frank, in, in Costa Rica people may know about Bollywood, but maybe not so many even understand that there are so many different industries, no? and that India is so huge, and that Tollywood, uh, you correct me if I'm wrong, I understand you're producing the highest number of movies at present. You know? So for us, it's very important to be able to talk to you. I thank you for, for the space. Uh, and also to talk to the right people. Because as an embassy, we get a lot of people who knock on our doors, but they are not necessarily the right people. And there's a lot of alleged film production companies that what really are, they seem to be more into is that selling of visas more than the interest of producing a real audiovisual uh, material, and and that is unfortunately what we have been receiving. So I was just telling them, and I'm talking very bluntly and, and frankly here. Uh, our film commission has been receiving all these requests, or have all these kind of references of Indian companies that are fake, that are not doing the right thing, and not only from India, but also Indians in Dubai, for example. They just shared uh, two days back kind of an alert of everybody be aware of this company that is trying to, or pretending to be interested in doing filmmaking, which is not the case. So that's just a little bit of context of why we're here. And this is a short presentation I want to run over with you. It's from our film commission. Uh, I'm not an expert in the audiovisual market, so I'm just going to kind of give you an introduction of what Costa Rica has to offer, comparative advantages. But we're mostly interested in listening from you, who are the experts in the field, of how do you see this? And what would be required from your side to consider Costa Rica as a partner, either for film production, or buying of content, or even 